Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Yes, it is indeed 9 p.m. And yes, I do have an energy drink because I am going to stay up all night recording the next few days of videos because your boy's going to be gone. Make sure to peep the vlog channel if uh, if you want to see where I'm at. Okay, that's all I got to say. But today we're doing another raiding fan builds and uh, man, uh, our bot is broken. So we have everything in event submissions now and it, oh, it's just, it's, it's a mess. It's honestly a mess. Is there a way I can move my camera to the other side? Because I feel, uh, I feel like we're kind of blocking them. All right, guys, I guess, uh, I guess this is where we're going to be in today's video. Anyways, let's hop on into here. First up, we have uh, an image of their model. Okay. So first things first, it looks like you shaded smooth on everything or at least on these flat surfaces, which is giving you that weird shading effect. I would definitely recommend turning on auto smooth or even on walls. You don't have to smooth anything because there's no details to them. You have some nice detail up on the roofs of each side, but once again, I would personally recommend having auto smooth on. It just helps with a lot of the shading issues that you're having. It looks like a good start to a house. Not exactly a done one yet, but nonetheless, a decent start. I don't know exactly what's going on with the squiggly thing on the top, but not a bad start, man. I think I'm gonna go a four out of 10. What is this? I genuinely have no idea what I'm looking at. Uh, I feel like we're on top of trees or maybe this is all grass. There's, I, I genuinely don't know what this is. We don't have any descriptions today either since our bot was broken. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm gonna stay at the four out of 10 on this one too. Uh, just because I don't really know what's going on. Oh, snap. What do we got here? This is sick. Okay, you, you're you going to get like, I don't even know. We have a very weird mix of like stylized and Roblox materials and smooth plastic and particles and portals and everything. I do like this. It's like a, a controlled chaos. I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. I do really like it. This this is like a weirdly magical and also dead at the same time. And I'm not exactly sure how I feel about it. Looks like we had some terrain work as well as some little docks. And we have this one too. Ooh, a nice katana. I don't really know how to rate this one. I feel like we have some pretty weird angles and I don't know the, the overall vibe. Okay, here's the katana. So this is the behind and then this is the front. I like the particles. I like the lighting. Let's go a seven. I love overgrown builds. Oh, you get, you get like a nine and this, I don't even know if this would be that hard, but yeah, you get a nine. I like this a lot. Guys, just quick tip. When you take the screenshot, just move your cursor. So the blue, like this blue box is really messing you up. <laughs> this is looking fantastic. We have a nice stylized scene here. I do wish we maybe had a little bit different color for the grass. I do get it. Uh, sort of a fall theme but even in the fall grass is not yellow orange or like gold orange it's throwing me off i think it'd look a lot better if this was green grass with some uh, some fun trees but overall i do think it looks pretty good i'm gonna give this one a 7.5 or an 8 back kicking it to low poly man very cute artsy style this is this is pretty cute man just scrolling through these real quick i like this little carrot house right here uh, whatever this guy is oh gosh trees very cute like kind of play-doh but professionally sculpted play-doh if that makes sense i'm gonna give this one a nine i think it looks pretty good i don't know what's going on here uh obviously some some peeps are eating stuff uh i'm gonna go like a four i feel like i could pull this straight out of the toolbox not saying he did but uh it, it does give me that vibe of like like 2004 model type thing wait is this drawings or is this like an actual Hold on. I'm so confused. This has to be drawings, right? It has to be. I don't know if I can rate drawings because I'm not an artist. It'd be a 10 if we compared it to my skill level. Yeah, this can't be a build. There's no sh depth to it. Good job at art. I, I don't know what to say, man. I love this watermark. There we go. Uh, scale seems a bit weird. Uh, this bench is almost as tall as the tree or like half the size. The pond is, I don't know. Pretty nice, simple little build though. Nonetheless, I think I'm gonna go a five on this one. Okay, uh, please have, this is so hard to read. It looks good, but I can't tell. Since we have so much darkness, it makes it very hard to see exactly what's going on here. Uh, it does look good though. And if you made the trees, it looks especially good because I'm still horrible at realistic trees. I do like the little fairy light 
highlights we have going on. I think I'm going to give this one a seven. Uh, it could be higher, but I genuinely can't tell what's down here. Is this terrain or is this just more tree foliage? Like, I don't know. Right here looks pretty all right. I'm going to go with a five or a six on this one. We have a lot of shade flat, which in my personal preference and, and guys, just my preference. Okay. If you like it, you do. If you don't, you don't. Uh, I think it's a lot harder to make shade flat look good. It mixes smooth and hard lines and it just, it doesn't always look exactly right to me, I guess. All right. Uh, 10 out of 10. This looks pretty good. I do wish around it was a little less flat, but maybe that's just the start of it. Uh, I love the amount of detail you have in here. I'm going go eight or a nine. Oh, we got the recording studio. Oh, snap. Oh, I don't sleep. All right, let's... Yo, you should subscribe to my videos. Drop a like, because you're my bro. Okay, I, I should stop. Yeah, this looks cool, man. I, I That was that was horrible. Uh, <laughs> I do like this, though. I like that we have these lights in the four corners. Uh, looks pretty good. Overall, I'm gonna go seven. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to speed run some of these. Sword right here. Six. Building. Uh, f uh four? Uh, ten. Well, hold on. <laughs> hey, I'm going ten. I like it. I like the creativity. I like the texture. I'm going people are gonna hate on it. I'm going 10 man. I like it. Yes. Yes This this seals it in 10 for me, man about a four maybe a three I'd say another four. I'm gonna go like a six or a seven. I do like this. It's pretty cool I'd love to see uh, just the surrounding a bit more done Maybe put it on some grass and some cobblestone. I think it would look a lot better But uh so far man, I'm gonna go with a six or a seven. Oh my gosh What do we got here a low poly simulator map? I think we're gonna go with huh? It doesn't look bad I'm gonna go with a seven again. It doesn't look bad. It just looks a bit generic like like every other simulator map, which is Definitely a box that's hard to break out of guys. I'm not gonna lie. M even my maps still look generic. Okay. I'm not hating <laughs> Oh, this guy I think it's a 9.5 man. I just like it. It's cute and scary little boat right here out of seven these dark pictures man It really does hide a lot of the flaws uh, Which makes them hard to rate so we're gonna go off what we genuinely see and it's looking really good man I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10 because I don't like I don't see any way that I could personally improve it man I love your little light leaks you have going on that might not be the right term i'm just saying okay but there's a little light down here and i like that i like these uh i like the little fairy things you got going on it's looking pretty good man i'm going 10 this is cool but also weird uh once again from earlier the shade smooth thing like everything is flat right like look at this shaded smooth look at this shaded flat shaded flat and then shade smooth with no auto smooth it gives you all of these really ugly shading errors and uh that is kind of killing it for me at this point in time the windows look pretty cool though i'm gonna go a five on this one kind of middle of the map and i think it would look a lot better if everything's shade was matching so either auto smooth or shaded flat i've never seen many things with just shade smooth that look amazing i might just be me this is looking really good it looks like we have a nice low poly city very bright vibrant fun colors a lot of details just i actually really like this man i'm gonna go a 9.5 out of 10 on this uh just some of the buildings i'm not really the hugest fan of but overall uh i know you have to make some sacrifices when it comes to big city projects yeah i really like this though the lighting for this scene right here reminds me of one of my first games vortex simulator still one of my favorite uh designs to this date of maps that i've built the lighting is like dark but so playful and i love this some people might hate on this 10 out of 10 okay it it just looks so good i love it so good man who are you i'm adding you add friend there we go i i hope they're cool <laughs> All right, looks like we're back to the simulator maps. And once again, uh, it's just sort of generic simulator build. Like nothing really stands out as special, but nothing really stands out as horrible. It's just generic. And that's not to hate on anybody, but yeah, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't scream, oh my gosh, you know? But it also doesn't scream bad build. I think I'm gonna go with like a six or a seven. Yo, 10 out of 10. I love this sort of gloss look we have on the eyes, this metallic look we have on like the rest of it. Yo, you can get an ad too. Ad friend, I hope you're cool too. That, that's a 10 out of 10. That looks incredible.
Oh, snap. This is looking pretty good. Pretty good. Yes. I'm gonna go like an 8.5 to a 9 on this. Uh, it seems a little empty in some rooms, and I hope it's for a horror game because it definitely does give me some scary vibes. This guy definitely looks like a new builder, and I want to give you a quick tip. Uh, who is this guy? L. Lexi. Okay, it might actually be a chick. I'm not trying to gender assume. Anyways, uh, one tip that I have to give you when you're using gradients, always put the light, the lighter shade of the color at the top and the darker shade at the bottom. The reason gradients work, at least in my, uh, use of them, I'm so bad at speaking, uh, the sunshine, think of the sun being up here, and if it's beating them sun rays down, oh, what, what did I do? If it's beating those sun rays down onto your objects, obviously the light is gonna be on the top. Your borders look a little scuffed because they're like dark to light and light doesn't come out of the earth. So it's just a bit strange. I would recommend auto smooth on the trees. I think it would help them look quite a bit. And it feels very cramped in here. I think we're gonna go for a four for now, but definitely keep going. We have a bunch of assets right here. It looks like a lot of booths, uh, which do look pretty cool. I like this one the best the kind of day night i'm not a big fan of this it seems like weirdly short and stubby but i can't hate on it It also doesn't have a sharp edge it looks like i can't tell if this lighter color is flat or if that's like the point but overall i think the stands look really good i'm not a fan of the sword either but the stands they're looking pretty nice seven out of ten all right we got this build right here uh it looks like the roblox default lighting still in here and with builds like this sort of the the japan style I, it's not japan is it is it japan oh god see now now i don't know we have the cherry blossom trees <sighs> I think it's Japan. I'm going with it. I'm full sending it. I do think the build looks pretty good overall. Your lighting definitely could use improvement and it would really make this build pop like tenfold. It would look so much better. So for its current state, I think I'm going to give it about a seven, maybe a six, but I think that could be bumped up to like an eight or a nine with better lighting. And it looks like the last submission we have today is a crossbow, which looks freaking awesome. This thing, I'll give it, I'm gonna give it a 9.5 or a 10. I don't see any Thing that I could make better. I love how most of it is pretty simple texture, but we have this nice detail in here, kind of like wood-esque texture. And I love how none of it is a straight line. Like it's not just a crossbow you'd go pick up at like, I was gonna say Walmart, but I'm not sure if you can buy a crossbow at Walmart. Uh, but I really do like this man. Great job, 10 out of 10 for you. But dudes, that is gonna wrap it up for today. If you did enjoy and you wanna see more videos like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day, later.